The Lord be with you. Well, there is this phrase that's been used societally kind of since COVID-19 has spread over top of all things. Um, you see it outside of hospitals. You see it outside of nursing homes. Uh, it's this slogan that heroes work here. Uh, and I think that's very appropriate in those settings. You know, these are frontline workers, people who risk their own health and their own lives in order to serve those people who are most vulnerable. Uh, I am very thankful for those people. I continue to give prayer and praise for those people. Uh, but I think it's also good to acknowledge those people in your own midst, in your own communities, in your own houses of worship, uh, who are heroic in the ways that they are serving. Uh, we have in videos past kind of singled people out, uh, people who do a lot of things behind the scenes, people who want to be participating but can't, uh, whether that's musicians or singers, uh, whether that's technical people uh, who help make videos possible and who are working uh, with our website and our internet and our Facebook page. Uh, so I think it's appropriate at this time to call out some other heroes uh, who have been working and worshiping with us here at Zion. Uh, which is not to say that other communities of faith don't have their own heroic people uh, doing their own heroic things. Not a big fan of those churches who always tout that their church is the best and better than every other church in their city or in their neighborhood. Uh, certainly not saying that. I totally believe that each community of faith uh, has people who are specially gifted and who are serving sacrificially in ways that a lot of us don't know about. Uh, so I just want to single some people out today. And as we've been trying to do, uh, we're trying to stick to first names because you know, once this goes out on the web, uh, you have no idea who, who's going to see it, who's going to use it for whatever purposes. Uh, so this is internal language, uh, and I think specific enough that most of us here at Zion will know who we're talking about. Uh, so one of the heroes I want to lift up is uh, John B. Now, John works for a company uh, that makes different chemical products. And uh, one of the things that they were doing this spring was they were developing a formula for hand sanitizer. Uh, apparently, when they do that, they make a whole bunch of these small samples of their product and they use them for testing purposes. Uh, and then when that trial is done, they typically uh, throw out their sample products and then they uh, make and ship to their companies um, these finished products. So uh, what John did was he took a couple of cases of these uh, little hand sanitizer bottles that were going to get thrown out otherwise, and he brought them to our church. So very early on, uh, when we started meeting again in person, uh, he had free samples of these hand sanitizer um, dispensers around the church that people could just take and use at home, put them in your vehicle, uh, whatever. And that was at such a critical time, a time when you couldn't find hand sanitizer in stores. Uh, so I am very thankful for John and his willingness to give and to serve in that kind of way. Somebody else, uh, Trisha S., uh, she works for a company uh, that was making uh, sanitizer wipes, and they were looking to donate them for free to nonprofit organizations. So Tricia, being here at Zion, uh, called us up and said, can you guys use uh, hand sanitizer wipes um, or sanitation wipes? And we were like, absolutely. I mean, we have to do cleaning being open on a regular basis. Obviously, that saves us a ton of money that it would have cost to buy these things. And those also were items you couldn't find in stores. Uh, so Trisha donated cases of these things. We're still using them. We're set uh, in a very good way to continue to have this product for a long time. So we are very thankful for that thoughtfulness and that donation. Uh, I want to lift up our buildings and grounds group. Uh, there have been so many things that had to stop uh, during the pandemic. Even when we were meeting in person, so many committees, uh, so many different um, subgroups couldn't meet. Uh, but Buildings and Grounds has steadily been doing a lot of things behind the scenes 
uh, fixing leaks, uh, fixing electrical problems. Uh, most of us didn't even know that um, there were these huge paint peels at the front of the sanctuary from an external leak, which got identified and got painted over, um, I guess this would have been towards the end of summer. And most of us got so used to seeing the damaged paint that we hadn't even noticed that this had been quietly repaired uh, in the background. Uh, they've also continued the uh, Mission House renovation project, which has been quietly going on in the background while so many other things are shut down. So very thankful for the ongoing diligent work of our buildings and grounds crew. Uh, and I also want to lift up our creativity in decorating. Again, haven't been able to meet en masse uh, not as a whole group, but there have been very subtle hints of things that have changed around the sanctuary. Banners, uh, flowers, uh, floral displays outside and inside. Uh, and I think that's helped a lot of us subtly and psychologically recognize that the seasons are changing and we are moving through them. And the more we move through the seasons, uh, by God's grace, the closer we get to something new. Uh, so very thankful for our creativity and decorating people who continue to just add subtle shifts in the backgrounds of things. You know, there's a passage of scripture in Romans chapter 12, uh, where the apostle says in verses uh, six through eight, we have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. I am so thankful for those people who have been merciful to us and who have done it cheerfully without asking for recognition, uh, without uh, expecting anything in return. Uh, so I encourage all of us, keep doing those things that you can do to serve. Some of us can serve in upfront sort of ways. Some of us can serve in big ways. Uh, others of us can serve in behind the scenes, very small and quiet ways. Whatever gift, whatever opportunities you have to serve, uh, take advantage of those opportunities. Use those gifts. Serve however you can. Do so cheerfully and thankfully and bring glory to God. So in these ongoing days of pandemic, may the peace of God be with you. Amen. Amen.